Do you know that AI companies consume a massive amount of energy? If you generate an email with ChatGPT, this consumes around one bottle of water because of the data center and cooling it requires. If you generate an image, an AI image with software like Midjourney or GPT, this is equivalent to charging your phone for an entire charge. Yes, AI companies are affecting our economy, they're affecting our jobs, and they're consuming a lot of money and resources. OpenAI closed the funding round. Uh, that raised the most money ever. AI startup Anthropic is in the middle of raising another mega round. Elon Musk's XAI is in talks with investors for a funding round that would value it at $40 billion. In the past decade, they spent around $750 billion on AI companies. $750 billion is massive. It is equivalent to the GDP of countries like Belgium, Ireland, like Sweden and Argentina, all those companies have similar GDP but no they spent this money on artificial intelligence and the, the cherry on top of this is that it is consuming and affecting a lot of jobs around 40 percent of the jobs of the world are going to be affected by it whether you like it or not it's happening now you might think of it as not a problem because you know what the internet affected the world the internet one day shaped the world as it is but the truth is the internet took at least a decade in order to actually turn into what it is today with the speed of AI and the technology that we're living in, this shift is happening so fast that we're not simply, the math doesn't add up. We won't be able to cope with the change that is occurring and jobs are at risk because yes, jobs will morph eventually. Until eventually happens, that is where the problem is. Hi, I'm Al Anani, an investment preparation consultant, and AI is ruining the market. If you look at the layoff, 165,000 in 2020, then more, then more, then more. In total, over 600,000 people were laid off just because of AI. And the truth is 600,000 is massive. It's almost as the population of Boston. And the thing is, it's not slowing down. In 2024, around 33% of all venture capital funding went directly to artificial intelligence. I was working recently on a market research to assess the venture capital investment in 2024. And, and AI is a winner with a huge margin. OpenAI's latest fundraising round of $40 billion, putting it on a valuation of $300 billion, that's more than Nike and McDonald's. But hey, let them raise funds, let them grow. They need to accelerate, they need to spend in order to grow. That's all okay. But the economical problem that is happening is rooting from the fact that people are getting laid off and that there is a direct proportion between whenever people raise artificial intelligence funds and, ra and lay off a lot more people. So people are raising funds in artificial intelligence and other people's are being laid off. These two facts are existing. And whenever you hear of one, you always hear of the other. And if you really look into the business model of any AI company, that's exactly what it is. The business model of AI companies is so that you would not need this or to remove the need of other humans in this part. So there is no argument that AI exists at this moment, not to help around, but to eradicate and reduce labor costs. And that will result in the economical problem that is gonna appear day after day yes we can migrate yes we can transform into learning how to use ai but will there be enough time but let's take a step back and look at actually the people being laid off or the core of those services is ai focusing on a specific niche or is it focusing on everything and the truth is it is focusing on everything look at the jobs of the world if we look at the services sector i think around 1.6 billion work in this sector and a huge part of it for instance is customer support and retail and when it comes to customer support companies like lyft eradicated their customer support department because you could use ai for it you could use claude for it why would you focus on humans in this sense but that's not the only services is not the only place where ai is doing much damage if you look at agriculture agriculture is kind of like the core of our economy and companies like farmwise raised i think around 73 million dollars in order to automate or make farming a lot easier the whole process with ai tools you got to think of manufacturing and construction in this area because it also consists of a lot of people working in this 
and companies like Figure AI raised a huge sum of money. And why? So that they would create robotic humanoids to replace humans in those sectors. And it is happening. At the moment, they look funny, I'll admit. And they're far from perfect. But that was AI four or five years ago. It was quite, it was kind of a joke compared to what it is right now. But hey, jobs using cognitive abilities, let's say, with more focusing on the mind, like creative thinking, strategy, and coding are safe, aren't they? The truth is they're not. If you look at a company like Cursor, which is a simple tool that practically writes code for you, it is, it is, and I come from a software engineering background, it is potentially replacing software engineers. People at Amazon already said that they feel like they're working in factories because of how they're requested to automate code or to use automated code to make their processes faster. So no, this is also at risk in this sense. So yes, high cognitive jobs are just simply disappearing. But not only that, the reward is that companies like Amazon, Nvidia, Google are surging in their stocks whenever they mention that they're working on something good in the AI world. So the investor world, Wall Street, everyone in the world is rewarding them for this. The more they grow, the more they lay off people. And that is the reward they're getting. They're just increasing in valuation accordingly. And it's not just product announcements like Google Veo or so. Microsoft is investing around $80 billion in data centers, Amazon, another 11 billion is just for Georgia. And these data centers consumes a massive amount of energy, a massive amount of everything. And they simply exist with the immediate effect and the obvious conclusion that this will result in jobs and layoffs and more layoffs. There was a time when you would see something like Google or Meta laying off employees to be a big deal and you think about it but nowadays it's practically every week you see those companies just laying off other employees because it's kind of makes sense from the business perspective AI is replacing a lot of people why wouldn't we lay off people for that now I'm not here to discuss the morality of it because People would say that jobs will transform. It is true that jobs are going to transform. The internet was a problem similar back in the days, and nowadays everyone knows how to use a keyboard more or less. But there is a critical flaw in all of that. It took decades in order for the internet to get accustomed into this world, to, 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 for people to learn how to do this. You weren't forced to learn about it immediately. You weren't laid off immediately. It took time. Nowadays, AI is not like the internet. Adding the internet to your business was optional because it grew slowly over the years. AI, on the other hand, is not an option. You need to add it instantly. And once you add it to your company, which is so easy, bam, you got another layoff. Why would you keep this employee? Now, the thing about human learning is that it's kind of linear. We take time to learn, which is the human part of us. and. For that, we do the job perfectly well and we're creative in this sense. AI is different because it is not linear at all. A, a single company that would create a customer support agent would eradicate thousands of hours of a person's knowledge in learning this industry. Now, some would say, oh, but there are specific things about customer support that are not going to appear in AI agents. But that's not true. That's simply not true because AI will also learn that faster than humans would. And that's where the problem lies. Now to the impossible economical paradox. We're building an economy where AI can practically generate and create everything. But humans are, a lot of them are out of jobs and they can't really buy anything which will force governments eventually to increase unemployment benefits, print out money, causing recessions and inflations over and over again. Now, all those things, the 750 billion spent, the massive layoffs that are happening, the acceleration of AI products, these are unstoppable. But what we can do is we can work on the timing. Now, when I read all these gloomy things, there is something that gives me hope out of this. We always adapted. It, to the internet, to technology, to all those things. But in order for this case to actually work out similarly and us to avoid a catastrophe in this sense, it is about the timing. The timeline requires us to act now. If we can slow down this sort of consumer behavior or not consumer behavior, but more like manager managerial behavior that AI tools are gonna decrease costs, which will increase profitability 
If this mindset is changing, then this is where the solution occurs because shift is gonna occur over time. We just need to slow it down a little bit. This is one of the particular dangers of artificial intelligence that there was a public letter by Stephen Hawking and a bunch of people really smart people wrote that and they showed that this could also be a problem with artificial intelligence that doesn't have to be all the terminator nonsense but it could be something as simple as that that would lead to something extremely drastic now i work with a lot of founders and the solution is not really to stop it what they're doing is they're building solutions to create more jobs to create more opportunities but it's all about directing artificial intelligence rather than just investing in it blindly. And this is what we should really focus on in order to have a better future. We could consciously choose how to develop artificial intelligence. That's my take. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and let's get into a chit chat.